Hello YouTube, this is Queen Violet 8, where it's good to be queen, coming to you with another pickups video. And I've been waiting on some stuff to get here, that's the reason I haven't made an updated video in a bit. But let's get on to this. First of all, I want to talk about some new stuff I got that's not gaming related. But if you're a fan of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Bones Coffee has got these adorable coffee mugs. There are a total of four, there's like two of a uh, Jack one of Oogie Boogie, one of Zero, and Sally, which is the one that I got. It's this like hunter green turquoise color, and it just looks so classy. I like the way this is stamped in the front, and it's a uh, frog's breath. <laughs> it's really cute. It even has like chocolate mole, which is actually what the coffee uh, tastes like. I haven't bought the coffee yet. I don't drink a whole lot of coffee. And each bag is like $19 if you get them from Amazon. But if you sign up for like shipping, it's like $17. But it's really cheaper just to buy the entire set for $40. you are getting four bags of coffee. But I can't drink coffee that fast. So <laughs> I wish they had smaller samples just to try to see if you like it or not. But I really, really like this mug. It's cute. You know, all good microwave, uh, friendly, and dishwasher safe, all that good stuff. But I really like this. It just seems more classy compared to, <laughs> I'm going to show you some of my mugs. I don't have that many of the mugs that I have. Even my own brother won't, you know, use them mostly because they look too kitty. But I've got, and I love this one. My man Thranduil from uh, the Lord of the Rings movie. I got this one before it sold out when it was real popular. Lee Pace, the only Thranduil I know. One of my favorite animated movies, which is Alice in Wonderland. This is called the Stacked Cup. It looks, you know, stacked. But I wanted the Queen of Hearts, but I couldn't find her. But I did get this one. And my last one is, of course, <laughs> Bob's Burgers, where Tina went crazy when she tried coffee for the first time. It's an acquired taste that I just acquired. But I love my mugs. Um, I drink a lot of tea. But this one, I really like the way that they did these. And there are other mugs, you know, to be had. If you're a fan of the movie, you know, check them out. Another thing I also purchased is some soap. <laughs> and I like this so much, that's the only reason I'm talking about it. It's from Etsy. It's from a seller called NPC Alchemist, non-playable character. This is based on Persona 5. This is called Take Your Heart. Well, uh and uh it's really cute real clean smelling soap it lathers real well um but she sent like a freebie with it and everything um i just hate it, it won't sit in my soap sack so <laughs> i don't know but i you know i've rubbed it a little bit i don't want to you know like use it up because i think she stopped making them but if you're a fan check her out she's on etsy real affordable prices got to me real fast really happy to have it i'm gonna get that out of the way then I picked up some paint. I've been wanting some of these are the Kurataki Gonzai Tambi watercolors. This is the Art Nouveau in set. And these are a lot of like muted vintage colors. Really pretty. I love this orange, by the way. But um, dusty rose and things of that nature. But also the reason I got that is because I picked up, let me put this down, I'll talk about that in a minute, is my boy Alphonse Mucha. Alphonse Mucha. I love his work. I think his stuff is so beautiful. And uh, it just, those colors uh, suit his work really, really well. And I just, I had never bought any Kurataki, but I wanted those at least. And I say that I talk about Mucha is because I'm a fan of Adam Hughes. And I truly believe he was inspired by Mucha as well from how he draws. Uh, I picked this DVD up from, I think it was Jerry's Autorama. It's the only way you could find it of him actually sitting down at a table and showing you him drawing because you know I've never gotten to meet him I hope one day I get to then I got now we can get on to the uh, well I got one more book I picked this up and if you were one who actually liked Disney's One Saturday Morning they have this it just came out uh, this is the One Saturday Morning Adventures it's based on the Disney Adventures books that used to come out but it's just pretty much a bunch of comic strips you know of like Pepper Ann, Recess, Doug uh, I could have done without Teacher's Pet, and they have like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck in here and Buzz Lightyear. I could have done without that. I would prefer to have more Pepper and a Recess or Hercules in here. But if you're a fan, I, I say pick it up. It's it's really cute. It's nice to have. I like it. I couldn't believe they also have a uh, 
cassette tape of all the themes if you were a fan of those shows. Now, this is what I've been waiting on right here. I've been waiting on this for almost a year. This is a River City Girls 2 vinyl record. They did not include a uh, CD, music CD, in the collection. This time they did it for the first one. And it's really nice. It's two records. One is blue and one is red. And I like, look at the inside is really, really awesome. Look at that. Very cute. It looks almost Adamana Gucci-ish or, you know, Scott Pilgrim a bit. But I really like the way that that came out. Wonderful music. Megan McDuffie is, is I, I ain't gonna joke. That girl is the Britney Spears of video game music. Y'all got to listen to the soundtrack. It's on YouTube for free. But I just, I wanted a physical copy of this song of this uh soundtrack big fan of the series then i picked up some more books in the warhammer series i'm, I'm getting back to reading y'all and this is age of legend malekith and heldenhammer the legend of sigmar these are all warhammer books Then I've got some music CDs. I promise I'm getting to the game. It's just taking me a minute. I picked up the Tekken Hybrid soundtrack. It also comes with Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which I really like that music. Namco and Tekken have always had good music. Ever since I heard the Tekken 3 music, I'm like, wow, I love it. Gone was my favorite. If you ever listen to his, which is also the Doctor's uh, theme as well. Then I picked up Gato, uh, The Last Day. I had been wanting this one for a minute, and I couldn't find it for a while, and it's getting harder to find this. This comes with a DVD, and uh, I love the instrumental version of this song. I have two more of his CDs. Uh, I think one is called uh, Moon, and there's another one. I can't think of it right now, but I really like his music. He's, he's got some really solid music. Now we're going to get into the games. And I know somebody's going to laugh and go, really? You, you waited this long to get this? But yeah, I did. And that is, I've been listening to Player Essence, and he's never wrong. You, you pay attention to him about the games you might want to get before you can't. And this is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm telling you, they did a wonderful job with this game. It looks so um, clay animation to me. It, it's just that cute. It, it's so adorable. I really like it. I'm glad I got it. I've been meaning to get it, and it's just been on my list, and I just keep forgetting to grab it. Now all I need is Skyward Sword and Hyrule Warriors. I don't know if I'll even be able to find a definitive edition, because that's getting harder, but you can always find the original. I mean, it's still at Walmart, where I live. Then I picked up Death's Door. This is a, a action uh, game, a bit of platforming in there, but you're playing as this crow. And you're collecting souls, you know, the souls of the dead. And one gets away from you, and it's a whole journey to get it back so you can get it to where it needs to be. I have not opened this. This is an indie game. I also picked up Hy uh, Hyrule Crypto the Necro Dancer. That's another one you might want to see if you can find. There was no box. I only had to get, you know, cartridge only. Then I picked up Mercenaries Rebirth, Call of the Wild Links. I like these Mercenary uh, games. The first three, not so much, but the new up-to-dated ones are really good. My favorite one is, I think it's called Twin Dragons. Uh, really, really good game. I love leveling up. It, it It's not hard to play, but, you know, it, there's an easy mode, and usually I'm doing that. Then I picked up Knights of Azure. It did not come in the original box. These are getting harder to find for the PS4 and Knights of Azure 2. Glad to have those. They were just loose uh, this, but I was happy to get them. Then I started looking into Pathfinder, Kingmaker. Uh, this game is cheap. I say you might want to grab it while you can. I plan on picking up the other one that goes with this. I can't think of what the name of it is right now, but uh, very Diablo-like, and uh, if you're into Baldur's Gate, you'll like this one as well. Speaking of which, I've never played Baldur's Gate. That's on my list, and so I went ahead and bought that as well. Then I picked up Tales of Berseria. Um, I have played that game. That ending, it, it was just sad at the end. I'll say no more. But I wanted a physical copy. Thank you, Eric Langdon. 
uh, Cold Vein. I have not played this yet, but I was glad to get it. It was like $12. You might want to consider getting it. Uh, the reason I'm picking up all these PS4 games, and I go ahead and talk about that a little bit, is because truly I believe the PS4 is on its last legs. Uh, I believe like maybe next year they'll start, you, you'll you see less and less and less of games being made. I mean, I went looking for Street Fighter 6 today and they didn't have a copy for the PS4 because everything is going to the PS5. So if you're one that's trying to get your collection straight up, get some of these games, you need to be getting them now. They're still cheap. The majority of them are, but some are getting harder and harder to find. Baldur's Gate. I got this one. This is This was brand spanking new. Uh, Cause I saw the reviews for three, and I'm like, I want to play it, but I don't have a PS5, so I'm gonna save up. I should have one by the end of the year. But I mean, that I can't drop that kind of money. That that is a a light bill, a car note, and a water bill just about for me. Six hundred dollars is a good chunk of change, so I'm just gonna save and get me one at the end of the year. Maybe they'll put them on sale. Who knows? But this is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. These are the first two Baldur's Gate. Uh, games. Uh, the Dark Alliance is not on here. Those are two completely separate games, but I wanted to play it because I'd seen the third one and I want to play the third one. I don't have a PS5, but when they say that thing physically drops, I'm going to get it. it. I'll just hang on to it till I get my system. Then I picked up something I've been wanting to finish, and yes, I have played the original Shinmu. Do you know where Sailors hang out? I heard that so much at the end of that game. And I didn't have a strategy guide back in the day. And I played that thing. I got a used copy from a pawn shop. And I played the crap out of it. I love that game. Learning new moves and going to the casino was a thing. My dad would watch me play. He'd be like, go back to the casino. It was always funny. Lord, I miss him. But this is volume one and two. I say you might want to consider getting this so you can finish your journey, so to speak. If you remember those commercials, it was always this guy's like, I must complete my journey. It, it was on MTV constantly with Final Fantasy VII. But I'm glad to get this because I have not finished the series. I still got to play two, and I also have three. Glad to get that. Haven't opened it yet. And of course, like I said, I picked up Shinmu 3 so I can complete this and finally defeat Long D, who, you know, kills Dude's dad in the first beginning of the game. Thanks again, Eric Langdon. I picked up Scarlet Nexus. These are real cheap on Amazon right now. I think I gave maybe 14 for it. So get them while you can. Then, this is one that I looked for for a minute. Guilty Gear Strive. I could not get the American version. I could only get the European. But I'm still happy to have this because this is getting harder to find. You can find this for the PS5. Fine. But trying to find the American version is going to cost you at least $70. But happy to have it. Uh, my girl Biking and my man Zato One and Venom. I really like them. And Melia Rage as well. And May's adorable. And I like the way that Johnny walks when he he's so cool with his stuff. Really in that hat. But yeah, pick that up. Samurai Showdown. This is another one that's getting a bit harder to find as well for the PS4. So if you're going to get it, go ahead and get it. Uh, favorite characters are Charlotte. I can't remember the girl's name with the eagle. And, of course, biking is playable, but you have to buy her. I hate that you have to pay for that extra content. She should have been on it automatically, but anyway. Then I had to grab this one. I wasn't going to play when I saw it for, I think, 16 bucks. This is Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. Uh, a pretty much, there's a versus mode and an adventure mode. And um, it... The series is awesome. It's it, I finished the end of it where uh, I won't say nothing, but it blew my mind how, you know, in the end, you, you kind of felt bad for Muzan, but then you didn't after all the crap he did. But he was just a dude that was sick and wanted to be cured and ended up with the immortality. And just the longer he lived, the more evil he got, it seemed like. He just had no care for life because he never thought he'd be, you know, have to leave this world. But he was already fighting to stay alive as it was. But immortality just made him crazy, pretty much. But uh, happy to get this. And that, my friends, is my haul. I hope you're staying safe out there. They're already talking about the COVID and flu and RSV, triple damage coming back. So time to get some more masks. But y'all stay safe out there. 
what are you guys playing or what are you guys reading and i'm dropping everything let me know in the comments is there any games on the ps4 you think i ought to pick up or any that you can recommend before it gets so that i can't find stuff but y'all stay safe out there later days